Good evening and thank you for attending tonight's ceremony. We are a unique senior class. Together, we've endured hardships that we have never believed to be possible. From young up, we have constantly been on a journey to reach the summit of Mount Carmel, only to have a boulder crash down and stop us dead in our tracks. With bottomless vigor, we've attempted to break this roadblock and in hope to reach the other side. Although we have not moved it, we have found ways around it, and now we sit in the fruits of our labor. But just for a moment today, as we rest on the other side of this daunting boulder, I believe we should focus on the memories we created during our time as students at Mount Carmel area. We all began at the base of Mount Carmel in kindergarten. Our class of small, rowdy and six, six, five and six year olds had their first taste at what life at MCA would be like for the next 12 years. In the blink of an eye, our class graduated kindergarten as the class of 2008. As we received our diplomas, we passed the first major milestone on our journey into education. I still remember my disappointment upon discovering that my diploma I received at the ceremony was just a piece of paper. Following our first year of schooling, our class gradually grew and defined as we climbed the seemingly endless mountain of elementary school hierarchy. As we developed both mentally and physically, we made memories and created lasting friendships that many of us still hold today. I feel as if it was just yesterday that I was seated next to Ryan in Mrs. Van Norman's second grade class. Once meeting, Ryan and I made so many exciting memories and Mrs. Van Norman soon regretted seating us next to each other. Swiftly, our class pushed on Way, uh, pushed our way past each grade with determination. Every year we were taught by amazing teachers that prepared us for what challenges lie ahead. We were taught the horrors of long division by Mr. Paulson, the history and geography of the world by Mrs. Grayeski, and how to wake up and smell the coffee in Mrs. DeFrancesco's reading class. Finally, we reached the summit of, ele of the elementary school mountain, sixth grade. I think we can all agree that by far, sixth grade was a year to remember. We reached our second milestone on our climb, we were the seniors of the elementary school. In that one hallway, hundreds of memories were created. Minithon, now known as Think Big, was introduced. Fun fair was planned, star search performances were practiced, and the list goes on. But swiftly, these events became memories, and our class was preparing for our next climb, a climb on a mountain that dwarfed that of elementary school. The next seemingly impossible climb was high school. We entered once again at the bottom of the slope as seventh graders. Quickly, we all learned the inner workings of our new building, a place of mystery and enrichment. Unlike elementary school, high school provided us with a chance to find our niche at Mount Carmel. Some, folk, some of us focused on the visual and musical arts, and others found their passions on the field, participating in the great history of Mount Carmel athletics. And some found a mix of both. I myself found my home in the TV studio with Mr. McPhee and in the art room with Mrs. Starr. In those two rooms, I not only learned the lessons of the discipline, but also about life. With Mrs. Starr, I learned how to not rest until I was satisfied with my work. With Mr. McPhee, I discovered how to learn and think for myself and adapt to anything that approaches me. But most importantly, I was taught that the fastest way from point A to point B was a straight line. All jokes aside, studio and art were the two subjects that allowed me to express myself and make new friends along the way. I will never forget all the conversations Jade and I had before football games, the times that Aaron and I were down on the field taking pictures as the action unfolded, or most importantly, when I, was, when I asked Mackenzie to our eighth grade prom or eighth grade formal during an art club session. As we climbed the mountain of high school, each of us had experiences such as these that we will cherish forever. Memories of the red tornadoes fighting it out under the Friday night lights, our amazing musicals that our cast and crew worked tirelessly to produce, or the many club trips that had their own unique memories made. Most importantly, we cannot forget about the amazing teachers that were by our side as we climbed the mountain of our senior year. In seventh grade, we experienced the dangers of Bath and Body Works with Mrs. Candelora and learned to never fall asleep in Mr. Connolly's class or you would most likely get yelled at by his megaphone. At this point, we also met our class advisor, Mrs. Nestico, who, although losing both of her co-advisors, stuck with us through our climb to the summit, and I sincerely thank her for all that she has done. As we moved on into eighth and ninth grade, we met Mr. Cunningham with his unique and bizarre phrases or Mrs. Lyash with her many really and trulies. Swiftly, we reached the peak of our high school climb as juniors and seniors of the school. Here, I met Mrs. Michaels and Mrs. Saliga, who supported me with every step I took. Mrs. Jero, who would aid at me in advancing my writing skills, and also checked over the speech for me, because if she didn't, it was, it was a mess. Uh, <laughs> and Mr. Yarch, with his many soapboxes during calculus class. Throughout our climb during high school, all of us have been taught by a teacher whom we will never forget. 
Each class was unique and provided us with much more than just an education. Finally, together as a class, we reached the peak of our Mount Carmel climb, the final milestone. Today, each of us sit anxiously waiting to set our flag on the peak of the mountain, frightened but prepared to continue on our trek into the unknown. There are a multitude of mountains still yet to be seized by the amazing potential that our class holds. Our mountains that lie ahead come in different forms. Some of us are moving on to a path of higher education in colleges or trade schools, and others are preparing themselves for the workforce or military. No matter what trek you are preparing to endure, we all will still have commonalities. We will still all be alumni of Mount Carmel area, and we will be connected by what struggles we have endured in the past. As we move forward, I want us all to never forget our times here at Mount Carmel area. In the future, if you ever are struggling or face hardships, take a moment to step back and reminisce on what memories you made in high school. Before we all take our final step on our climb, I would like to personally thank all the faculty, staff, administration, and school board, especially Mr. McPhee, who alone has had one of the largest impacts on me throughout my climb of high school. I would also like to thank my family, especially my mother, Margaret, my father, Jason, my sister, Emily, and my grandparents, who supported me unconditionally and pushed me to tackle any goal. Also, I thank my friends and the community for supporting not only myself, but our class during our trek throughout high school and our current hardship. And last, but certainly not least, it is my honor to congratulate all of the members of the Mount Carmel area graduating class of 2020 for finally placing their flag at the peak of Mount Carmel. And I wish you all the best of luck with all of your future endeavors. And yes, Mr. Yarch, this is the end of my soapbox.